so if you're new here if you haven't seen these games before these are puzzle games co-op oh thank you cindy and we have to work together to solve each room no one entering my room while well, i'm recording why have you not slept for two days sir <laughs> look at that it's a flare and an old castle what could it mean? Fair enough. So now there's us, me and Doc. Well, one of us had to sacrifice themselves so the other could escape. I have a feeling that we're gonna have to do that again because the third game was the same way. <laughs> you guys are standing right there. I mean, just talk to each other. <laughs> Yes, this all seems legit. Cindy, how am dead? How was uh, Resident Evil? Descent down the stairs. Looking around, we. Music down. Oh, chat's all the way up. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, key bindings. Interact, jump, space, crouch, C, sprint, push to talk, mouse one. What's mouse zero? Hi, right, Doc, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Uh, Roger Dodger, so it looks like we have a similar thing as in three, so we have to be careful and not cut each other off over. We're good. Roger that over. Uh, what are you seeing? I have, um, looks like a lever attached to a box that has like three wheels, you know, like what you would do at a playground. Like you have the things you can rotate them, they have different symbols. Oh, uh, oh, I see a girl in a boat symbol. I have three, so I can change them and rotate them. And go. Um, all right, I've got, okay, so I'm like in a crypt, right? And I've got, um, it's like an ye olde crypt with the coffins inside the walls in certain spots. And it looks like I've got one, two, Okay, I've got three coffins with symbols. So let me read you the first one. It is man dancing with balls for hands and hands and you know, a pee pee. Um, okay, I'm assuming this one. Do you see that that symbol over? Roger, Dodger, over. All right, the next symbol I have is the turtle uh, with an upside down T coming out of its butt. That one. Got it. All right, and lastly, uh, I have this one's gonna be this is a new symbol for us. It's an S with uh, uh, four straight lines going in a diagonal around it. What? Hey, Cindy, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Uh, looking for that one. Oh, I see it. All right, clarification. So it's a it's a long skinny S. And the diagonals are upper left, lower left, bottom. He got it. I think I found it. Puzzle Master! Puzzle Masters! Oh yeah! All right, so I'm entering a large Coliseum room. There are, seems to be uh, candlesticks, and in total there are seven, six of them and surrounding in a circle with a big great middle of stairs leading up above it. There is a big old book here that reads as follows, a dear B. I have never been, I've never been as happy in my, in my life as then the moment I met you. I am, a, I am honored to receive your love in exchange. I wish I could be with you forever. And the promise of your eternal love is very thrilling, but the sacrifice is too great. I cannot let you get through this, uh, with this. I cannot let you destroy the strong, pure heart of yours. 
I hope you will understand the things I have done to keep you from making this big mistake. I want you to remember me as I was that summer. Summer night in the in the in the, in the nun garden and the Rome garden something garden. I want you to remember. I will always love you. And I will, I want you to remember, I will always be with you, even when I am not in this earthly world anymore. Love you forever. And the rest of the page is torn where it's taking to. Alright, so I'm also in a big chamber. Um, I've got like lots of doors on the walls. In the center, I have like um, a small mini castle, if you will, with, if you will, with a book in front of it that also has wording. Oh, we got this too. And, um, my side page tea. has a bunch of candles with Roman numerals on them. Do you have any candles with Roman numeral? Well, I don't have candles. I have a tapestry to the left. I'm going to call that the west side. And I have another tapestry to the the east side. Uh, one is red, one is blue. The one on the east side has multiple lines and things and stuff with different, like, kind of sh shapes attached to the lines. The other ones those symbols we're familiar with. In the middle, there is, uh, I think it's so, like almost like a Star of David with more star, uh, lines through it, and then there are candles. I do not have any Roman numerals. However, I can light them. Okay, so I also have tapestries on the left and right. Uh, to my left, to my west, is a red tapestry with a very complicated-looking symbol. And to my right is the blue with also another complicated-looking symbol. Okay, uh, both of them have candles. Next time. Uh, I'm gonna get myself a drink real quick because I didn't get one to begin with, so I'm gonna be back in like three seconds. All right, three seconds. All right, you guys. Sorry about that. My love for you... I don't... I hate cursive. My love for you burns with the... In Sun's your beauty. Drives at bright at the light of the stars and at the in the our garden what that makes no sense Does that makes sense to anybody or is it just gibberish can I interact with anything in here uh, I'm back hey. all right so I got my drink and we're good so for you thank you for redeeming tea time all right Went down, hey, Okay, okay, I'm able to open a door. Oh god, there's lots of writing. I can't get- oh! So. I wonder. Are these two sides of this? Oh wait, Doc, so I see him. Uh, so in like my big circle in the middle, there is like a little circle made of stone uh, that's around like the big star, and there are symbols on each of the little section, uh, the sections of that. It's split into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight sections, and there's a symbol on each. Did you just touch something? I have touched nothing. All right, I just touched a switch. What happened? Uh, nothing happened on this side. Uh, book. Uh, but this... Can't read these. Interesting. Alright. Okay, so I've got a book over here with cursive writing, and I suck at reading cursive. <laughs> well, that certainly does put a damper on things. Alright, so... It's oh god. All right, so on the upper left hand side, I've got a picture of two candles, and it says the altar needs to be lightened or lighted by the candles. So I can light all my candles. I guess do that. All right, we'll find out. Uh, if we miss it, let us know. But we like to try and figure stuff out on our own. It, it put, put them all out. Okay, I can't light all of them. I can light five of the six, and then if I light the six, it puts them all out. I'm sorry, say that again? So I have the six candles in a circle around, like, the big circle. 
I, I can only light five at a time. If I light six, it puts all out. Okay, I'm going to continue reading. The magic symbols need to be... I don't know what that word is. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. It's, like it's not clear cursive either. Out. I don't know what this says. The magic symbols need to be something within the... Something with thread... And it's like, it's so dark, uh, made out of innocent hair. What? Um, what? <laughs> I can't see it. Like the cursive is like bad. Anybody know what that word is right there in chat? Embroidered within the tapestries with thread. The magic symbols need to be embroidered within the tapestries with thread made out of innocent hair. All right, so we have the tapestry. So it's something to do with the tapestries. So the way my tapestries are, so it's like a web. And but there's a big like on the blue one here on my east side. It's um diamonds, right? All the shapes are diamonds, and then that small symbol inside them. But there is a big diamond in the middle. It's empty, and then below that there is four empty diamonds. <sighs> so, oh, I also have a uh, a map here of six candles in a circle. You have six candles in a circle. Yes, that's the six candles I described earlier. Okay, I've got the order in which you need to light them. Um, if we're looking at a compass rose, right? Mm -hmm. Always looking at compass. First one is south, then yeah. southwest, then northeast, southeast, northwest, and then north. Northwest and then north. Got it. That oh, that lit up the, on the, some of the tapestry. So now um, the, both the tapestries have one of the circles and diamonds lit up. With the middle one having one shape in the middle. I'm going to give this a shot, man. I'm looking at the red tapestry. Move here now. Okay. Put the, put the and it looks like our, our, our dude that has the two arms up with circle hands. But he has no head, and then there's a line going south from there with two horizontal lines, mm -hmm. and then a third horizontal line with two C's facing away from each other at the end of that line, and at the very bottom of the north and south line is an X with a circle. X with a circle? So on my, circle, my red circle tapestry, so the same shape you described earlier, like the guy, Jazz Hands. Uh, but it's just but no head and then south to that it's one line with two C's attached to it And then that goes uh, both northwest and west uh, The west one is like oh you just turned it on you just turned the west one on Whatever you just did Blackstar thank you so much for the five gift subs rockstar um, I'm sorry Blackstar gifted me a sub and I did not hear what you said. I'm so sorry So you Turn the, whatever you just did, turn the west one on, which is like an arrow with a T. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I didn't do anything. Oh, what are you... Whatever you're doing is turning that on, but it keeps turning it back off. I am not doing anything. Uh, my, my tapestry is pulsating. Oh, click it. Click it when it turns on. Oh, you can look at it. You can look at it and you can click and turn it off. Oh, I can't turn anything on or off. I can't interact with that. Okay, I can. The switch, the switch. I have a switch. Hang on. Oh, it's already on. I, I, I lit up a, made a pattern. Try throwing that switch. No, this the switch is on. I can't turn it off. Okay, let me go over to the other the other tapestry now and see if I can affect that maybe.
Did it do anything? Not that I can see. Let me read the next passage in my book. Hang on. Something. I know that's what we have to. The escape to escape death, a great sacrifice needs to be made. Well, no shit. Uh, phase <laughs> one: no Gather around my fellow friends and let your mind and body enlighten through the light of these candles. My. I think you already did that part. Uh, yeah. Phase two: Bring forth the innocent maiden and cut off her hair. Key key locks will chain us to their earthly life so we will never pass look i think that's pass through the door of heaven or hell and it's got some names i didn't make any sense okay so i can't interact with those candles anymore but so i can't interact with tapestries now so i guess i do i need to make those shapes Oh, yeah. I'm trying to see if I need to like turn a page or something. But yeah, try try to do something on your end. I don't have anything else I can interact with. Oh, yeah. I still have the book here that I read earlier about you know the person loving and trying to make them keep them from making the mistake that they made. I don't know if that's relevant though. All right, let me keep trying shapes. Do we go like this? Uh, uh, it'll be like this. We're making shapes. I've got so much junk over here. You'd think I'd be able to interact. Oh, I found another book. <laughs> I found another book. Never mind. I can't interact with that book. You got my hopes up. <laughs> Sorry, TNG. Uh, do you see any shapes or symbols that I need to make? Anything like that? Because I can make different like shapes and symbols uh, with like putting them together, but I need to know what I'm making. Yeah, I mean, I've got absolutely nothing over here. Can you describe the symbols that you're looking at? So it's the tapestry. Can I assume that your both our tapestries are the same? Uh, my blue tapestry, the symbol that's on there is highlighted in a tr or in a diamond shape. Yes, is it just like a line, but kind of like one, the end goes up and the other end goes down slightly? No, my per, my symbol, again, it's inside of a diamond and it's, it's a person or, you know, our quote unquote person, but for hands, they're triangles and it has a squiggly bottom body with a, with a triangle for a tail. Okay. I think I need to make that person. Okay. Then you go like this. This. Okay, hold up. So, the, what would you? What did you say the tail was again? Was it a circle or a triangle at the end of the tail? Uh, a triangle. And it had triangles for hands, or it had circles for hands. Triangles for hands, a circle for a head with a dot on it. Ah, ah. Okay, I made that shape on my tapestry. So now that's there. What's on the red one? The red one is very complicated. So it might be better if you ask me questions about what you're seeing and then I can confirm or deny. Okay, so the first, it starts off with a circle with an X through it. Uh, the ways I can go is I can go uh, pitchfork. I can go uh, two-pronged pitchfork with, with like spikes coming out the middle of it. Or I can go an arrow with a T on top of it. Okay, so your circle with an X, does the X continue outside of the circle? Like, outside of the circle? Like, do the, do the lines go through the circle, Ed? Yes, I nodded my head like you could see it. 
Okay, that circle is at the bottom of my symbol, okay? Going up from there. Now, let me start over. So the X, the circle X is at the very bottom and coming out the top of it is a line that goes straight up through the entire symbol, right? Mm -hmm. The next thing above the circle intersecting that line is two pitchforks attached to each other. Okay, I see. The top of this symbol is our is our dude again, uh, but he's got circle for hands and no head. All right, so it goes the circle with the X, and then right above that you have the two pitchforks, yes. and then above that is there like two um, greater than symbols. Above the pitchforks are two horizontal lines, one above the other, with the top one being longer than the bottom one. Two horizontal lines. Are they uh, are they perpendicular? Are they angled? They're they're side by side, and they're ho they're both horizontal. Got it. All right, my big circle is now on fire. And there is lava underneath. There is many much lava underneath. 